How's everyone doing out there today? Hope everyone's doing good, staying safe. So today on the tips and tricks, I wanna go over something really quick. This is in the owner's manual, but I get a lot of questions about this. It's about the main maintenance minder. Um, so you know that there's a letter and then there's a number such as like A1, A2, so on. Um, and people will want to know what that refers to because you'll see them, you'll usually get them up here when it's um, time for service and it'll say like A1 or A3. It's good to know what those numbers and letters, what they represent. Just so when you go to the dealership, that's what they're going to be pushing on you. Now you don't have to, of course, get them done if it's say an oil change and tire rotation. Sometimes I don't get the tire rotation. You know, if I don't feel like it's really due right there, they're of course going to try to sell you on it. So I'm going to put it up here on the screen right here. This is all the codes. So there are A and B and then there's numbers. Okay. So it's very helpful. If you go, like I said, when these pop up, you'll know what it means. So then when you go to the dealer, you won't be surprised when they're saying, because sometimes they don't really ask. They just kind of assume that you're getting it. They'll say, oh, you're getting oil change. And the tire rotation today is $120 or whatever it's going to be, you know, and they just kind of throw it out there. A lot of people just go with it. And sometimes you don't need to get them all done. Then, you know, it airs on the side of caution. I would say a lot of that stuff, um, but you know, everyone's different. So tire rotation, you have to look at your tires, you know, are they wearing unevenly? You know what I mean? Do you do a lot of short distances? So it wears the outside of the tire out a lot when you turn that kind of stuff. You just have to um, play it by your, um, but again, I want to share this with you guys just so it's an easy place to find it. You can copy it down. I have it printed out just so I know when I go in what they're going to try to hit me up with. So hopefully that's useful for you. Again, it's probably in the owner's manual, I'm almost positive. But I know when mine pops up, I sometimes wonder, well, what is an A2? What does that mean? And then I kind of have to research it just so I know what they're recommending, you know, and to see if I want to go ahead and do that or not. So hopefully that is useful for you guys. Hope everyone's doing good out there, staying safe. Again, I appreciate all your guys' support. It's awesome on this channel. It's fun talking to you guys over the years, getting some feedback from you, and a lot of knowledge you guys have too that I love hearing. Definitely helps me with my build and what I'm gonna do in the future. So again, stay tuned. If you haven't, please like and subscribe. I appreciate that, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks everybody.